Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've compiled a list of 30 weird fun facts to surprise and amaze everyone in your friends and family. What happens when you visit a religious website? Why dogs like squeaky toys? How America's first bank robber gets caught? Finding answers to these questions and more will leave everyone around you shook. So, without wasting time, let's get started with. Number one, there's a company that turns dead bodies into an ocean reef. For those who romanticize a burial at sea, the company Eternal Reefs offers an innovative solution. It mixes the cremated remains of a person with concrete to create a pearl onto which loved ones can etch personal messages, handprints, or environmentally friendly mementos. The pearl is then encased in a reef ball that is dropped into the sea. Number two, you can buy a flying bicycle. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel, but British inventors John Foden and Yannick Red have come up with a bicycle that actually flies. The Explorer Paravello is composed of a folding bicycle and a lightweight trailer that contains a biofuel-powered fan motor. The motor turns the fan, and with enough of a runway, it can reach up to 25 miles per hour in the air and 4,000 feet in altitude. Number three, vacuum cleaners were originally horse-drawn. One of the earliest known vacuum cleaners was so large that it had to be hauled from house to house via a horse-drawn carriage. Its giant hoses were popped through the windows of customers, and a gas-powered motor generated the suction that pulled the dirt and debris into a glass container where onlookers could gawk at the volume of filth coming from their neighbors' homes. Number four, did you know? Pandas poop most of what they eat. Pandas basically only eat bamboo, which also happens to be incredibly hard to digest. That means that these adorable animals must eat about 30 pounds of the stuff each day to get enough nutrients, defecating about four-fifths of what they eat. Number five, McDonald's introduced its drive through service due to the military. The first McDonald's drive through was installed in a restaurant based in Sierra Vista, Arizona, located near the Fort Huachuca military installation. Military rules forbade the soldiers from wearing their military uniforms in public, so restaurant manager David Rich came up with a solution, cut a hole into the wall and allow members of the military to pick up their orders. Number six, Alfred Hitchcock was frightened of eggs. Alfred Hitchcock, the master of suspense, explained to an interviewer in 1963, I'm frightened of eggs, worse than frightened. They revolt me. That white round thing without any holes, and when you break it, inside there's that yellow thing, round, without any holes. Blood is jolly, red, but egg yolk is yellow, revolting. I've never tasted it. Number seven, pigs don't sweat. If someone tells you they're sweating like a pig, you might want to point out to them, if you're that sort of person, that if they were being biologically accurate, that would mean they were not sweating at all. Swine are born without sweat glands, so when they need to cool off, their only option tends to be to find a cool puddle of mud they can roll around in. Number eight, the fuller the fridge, the more energy efficient it is. An empty fridge not only makes it more difficult to decide what to snack on, but it also wastes valuable energy. It works like this. The more empty space in the fridge, the more cold air is displaced by warm air when you open the door, requiring the appliance to generate cool air to replace it. If the fridge is packed, less cool air escapes and less energy is required to replenish it. Number nine, there's a Lego bridge in Germany that you can walk across. The German town of Wuppertal is home to Lego Brücke, also known as Lego Bridge, a bridge that looks like it's made of candy-colored Lego bricks, providing a foot and bikeway for those looking to cross over the street below. Despite appearances, the bridge is not made of giant plastic bricks, however, but concrete, and it was painted to look like the popular building toys by street artist Martin Hewald. Number 10. Spider webs were used as bandages in ancient times. So, next time you're out of band-aids, just head to your attic and grab some Webicillin. In ancient Greece and Rome, doctors used spider webs to make bandages for their patients. Spider webs supposedly have natural antiseptic and antifungal properties, which can help keep wounds clean and prevent infection. It's also said that spider webs are rich in vitamin K, which helps promote clotting. Number 11. A woman who lost her wedding ring found it 16 years later on a carrot in her garden. A woman in Sweden lost her wedding ring while cooking for Christmas in 1995. She looked everywhere for it and even had her kitchen floor pulled up, hoping she could find it. But she wouldn't see it again until 2012. While gardening 16 years later, 
the woman found the ring around a carrot that was sprouting in the middle of it. Number 12. You're more likely to get a computer virus from visiting religious sites than adult sites. According to a research firm, religious websites carry three times more malware threats than adult sites. Symantec found that the average number of security threats on religious sites was around 115, compared to adult content sites, which carried around 25. Number 13. The inventor of the Pringles can is now buried in one. In 1966, Frederick Bauer developed the ingenious idea to uniformly stack chips inside a can instead of tossing them in a bag. Bohr was so proud of his invention that he wanted to take it to the grave, literally. He communicated his burial wishes to his family, and when he died at age 89, his children stopped at Walgreens on the way to the funeral home to buy his burial Pringles can. Number 14. Sunglasses were originally designed for Chinese judges to hide their facial expressions in court. Today, sunglasses serve as protective eyewear, effectively preventing bright sunlight from causing discomfort or damage to our eyes. Of course, they're also a fashion accessory, but sunglasses were originally made out of smoky quartz in 12th century China, where they were used by judges to mask their emotions when they were questioning witnesses. Number 15. Cotton candy was invented by a dentist. Dentist William Morrison and confectioner John C. Wharton invented machine-spun cotton candy in 1897. It was first introduced at the 1904 World's Fair as Fairy Floss. Then another dentist, Joseph Lasco, reinvented the machine in 1921. He came up with the name Cotton Candy, which replaced Fairy Floss. Number 16. Shakespeare's epitaph contains a curse for grave robbers. When William Shakespeare died at 52 years old on April 23, 1616, he was buried in a tomb that featured an epitaph meant to ward off grave robbers. Good friend, for Jesus' sake forbear, to dig the dust enclosed here. Blessed be the man that spares these stones, and cursed be he that moves my bone. Number 17. A New Orleans hotel offered a $15,000 stay to whoever stole the most outrageous item from them. In March 2019, the Roosevelt Hotel in New Orleans decided to celebrate its 125th anniversary by offering a free seven-night stay in its presidential suite, along with complimentary private dinners and spa treatments worth a whopping $15,000. But this wasn't a standard giveaway. The prize was only available to the person who returned the most outrageous item ever stolen from the hotel. Number 18. A cornflake in the shape of Illinois sold on eBay for $1,350. In 2008, two Virginia sisters found a cornflake that was shaped like the state of Illinois and sold it on eBay for $1,350. Monty Kerr, the owner of a trivia website from Austin, Texas, was the buyer. He explained to the local press that he wanted the special piece of cereal for his traveling museum. Number 19. The amount of copper on the Arizona Capitol building roof is equivalent to nearly 5 million pennies. The copper roof of Arizona's Capitol building in Phoenix is undeniably impressive, especially once you learn that it's the equivalent of 4,800,000 pennies. That's a heck of a lot of pocket change. Number 20. King Charles owns all the swans in England. According to British law, any unclaimed swan swimming in the open waters of England and Wales belongs to the British royal family more specifically, the king. After the death of Queen Elizabeth II, the swans became the property of King Charles III, number 21. Someone tried to sell New Zealand on eBay. That's right. A man from Brisbane, Australia tried to sell New Zealand on eBay in 2006. The listing described the country as the dodgiest American Cup win ever and said it has very ordinary weather. Despite those selling points, the ridiculous auction gained a ton of interest. The starting bid was one cent, and after 6,000 hits and 22 bids, the selling price for New Zealand climbed all the way to $3,000. Number 22. A 155-year-old mouse trap successfully caught a mouse in 2016. The 155-year-old device on display at England's Museum of English Rural Life managed to catch a mouse that snuck into it in 2016, even without bait. The mouse entered the trap, attempting to build a nest and ended up activating its seesaw mechanism. Sadly, the rodent didn't survive. Number 23, there is an immortal jellyfish. When it's an adult, the immortal jellyfish 
scientifically named Toritopsis dornii, can transform its cells back to its childhood state. This usually happens when it is physically harmed, sick, or even when it is starving. The jellyfish evolved this skill in order to survive throughout history, specifically when latching onto ships. Since it can hitchhike, its DNA has spread, and the not-so-rare species is emerging all over the world. Number 24. The majority of people in Iceland believe in elves. A 2007 University of Iceland survey found that 62% of Icelanders believe in real-life elves. The country's elf history dates back to Viking-era poems from around the year 1000. To Icelanders, these elves are not tiny figures who build toys for Santa. They actually look very much like humans and can range in size. Number 25. The wood frog can hold its pee for up to eight months. Talk about having to go. Wood frogs in Alaska have been known to hold their urine for up to eight months, sticking it out through the region's long winters before relieving themselves once temperatures increase. The urine actually helps keep the animal alive while it hibernates, with special microbes in their gut that recycle the urea into nitrogen. Number 26. A pharaoh once lathered his slaves in honey to keep bugs away from him. The pharaohs of ancient Egypt were believed to be literally divine. The word pharaoh itself means great house, as in the house of God. In fact, King Pepi II, who supposedly ruled for 90 years, thought so highly of himself that when he was bothered by insects, he would command that one of his slaves be covered in honey to lure the flies away from himself. Number 27. The fire hydrant patent was lost in a fire. The fire hydrant patent is credited to Frederick Graff Sr., who was the chief engineer for Philadelphia Waterworks during the early 1800s. Unfortunately for Graff Sr., the patent was destroyed when the patent office in Washington, D.C. burned down in 1836. Number 28. Cows kill more Americans each year than sharks do. While sharks account for about 53 bites per year, only one of those ends up being fatal. Cows, on the other hand, or hoof, kill around 20 people per year. Number 29. Dogs like squeaky toys for a dark reason. Ever wonder why your little puppy obsesses over those squeaky toys? Because dogs are descendants of wolves whose instincts include hunting smaller animals. The sound a squeaky toy makes is very similar to the sound a small animal makes when being hunted. Number 30. America's first bank robber deposited the money back into the same bank. At the Bank of Philadelphia on August 1st, 1798, a sum of $162,821 was stolen from the vault. There was no sign of forced entry, so it was thought to be an inside job. But then, they realized a man named Isaac Davis had been depositing large sums of money into the Bank of Philadelphia. It turned out, he was one of the robbers involved. In 1799, Davis ended up repaying the money without serving a day in jail. That's all for today. Subscribe to our channel for more fun videos.